Let's go to page 242 and number 370. Okay, so this is the uh, talking for the length of the longest diagonal of the regular dodecagon. Okay, dodecagon is 12 sided, so let's go ahead and draw. Uh, let's draw half of it. Okay, so. And so let's go and label this is A. And what you want to do, you want to do the midpoint of it, call this C. And go ahead and draw. So this is a half, half of it. Okay. Now when you have a when you have dodecagon, first you can figure out the angles. So you got 360 divide 12 side, so equal to 30 degrees. So each of these exterior angle is 30. So that means this is also 30 degrees. And what you want to do is you want to cut this into rectangles and triangles. Okay, so each side equal to 1. So this is equal to 1. So if this is a 1, the, the hypotenuse is 1, so, the, uh, so that the short leg would be 1 half, and this would be square root of 3 over 2. Okay, and this is 1, I right? just translate over. And it'll be square root of 3 over 2. So once you do that, you can see that you add this together. So this will equal to 1 plus square root of 3. Right? You add this. So this is, these are symmetrical. Okay, so the AB, now you can use Pythagorean theorem, or you can just realize this is a 45 45 spatial triangle. Right? So this will be square root of 2 times that. So it'll be 1 plus square root of 3 times square root of 2 okay. and just go and multiply out so AB equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 6 okay, so again you just made of figure out what the picture looks like and just divide it up okay, okay let's go to 371 So you have a triangle inscribed in a circle. Okay, so you got A, B, C. And you're gonna get the perpendicular bisector So get the perpendicular bisector. Okay, so this is the point F. This is D and this is E. So with this, what you need to do is um, and you that the radius is eight. So the radius of the the circle is eight. So to do this and also perimeter is equal to thirty-five. So what you want to do is you want to go and draw quadrilaterals. So so here's your center um, O. Now, these are perpendicular bisectors, so this would be the uh, right angle. So, 
So basically, you kind of you kind of divide this into okay. So this hexagon you divide into three quadrilaterals. Okay. So if you just take this one here, okay. So quadrilateral since the diagonals are perpendicular, so the area will be one just like the rhombus one half d one times d two. Okay. So that so the area of this uh, hexagon is equal to so this one over here will be one half d one. So it'd be o f times d two a b. Now for this hexagon, uh, for this quadrilateral over here, it would be one half, okay, again diagonal, okay, so it would be OE times AC. Okay. Now for this one over here, it would be one half times the, the diagonal, the D1 times D2, so it would be OD times BC. Okay. And now notice that, that o, the OF, OE, and OD are all radius. Okay, so all this is equal to eight. Okay, so this these are the uh, the O F, O E, and O D. Okay, all these are your radius. So all these are eight. So you can go and factor it out. So K will equal to one half times eight times A B plus A C plus B C. Okay. And so now A B plus A C plus B C. Uh, wait. So a, B, A, C, B, C. Yeah. So this would be a parameter. Okay, so this would be equal to 1 half times A. So this would be parameter 35. And you can cancel. So K, K will equal to 140.